Tom Brady is the GOAT. Everyone knows that. The guy made a wicked amount of money throughout his storied NFL career and will continue to make bank now that he is retired. You'll be shocked when you hear the lavish lifestyle that Brady lives behind the scenes. Here is how Tom Brady spends his millions. Brady considers himself a homebody, so it's no surprise that he has spent a boatload of money buying property over the years. And not just your typical property. Tom Brady invests in some of the craziest houses that you could ever imagine. He has made about $30 million flipping real estate over the years. But in this video, we're just going to discuss the homes that he currently owns. Brady used to have a giant condo worth over $36 million in Manhattan, but since signing with the Buccaneers, he decided to downsize to a $3.6 million condo since he wouldn't be living in it as often. However, his new $3.6 million home is nothing to scoff at. His new place is a four bedroom complex that is 4,331 square feet in total. It has a view that overlooks the Hudson River and also has a private terrace. The terrace is over 1,000 square feet on its own and has a built-in outdoor kitchen. Brady's luxurious New York home has high ceilings, a private elevator, a foyer, an art gallery, a great room with a custom fireplace, an elegant dining room, and a family room. The kitchen is customized with unique oak paneling, marble countertops, two dishwashers, and a deluxe wine cellar. The master bedroom has river views from multiple windows and two walk-in closets for his designer clothes. One thing that both his New York pads had in common were that they were both on the 12th floor in their respected buildings. The reason for this is pretty obvious, because as Brady's jersey number indicates, his lucky number is 12. If the new condo was on any other floor, he wouldn't have bought it. Talk about picky. Tom Brady also owns a home in Montana. I know what you're thinking. Why the hell would Brady buy a house in Montana? There is nothing going on up there. Well, nothing to ordinary folk. But within the Midwestern state is a gorgeous private country club called the Yellowstone Club that only the wealthiest people in the world have access to. The details of this purchase are undisclosed, but apparently home prices range anywhere from $5.7 million to $30 million at this particular development. So we are cautiously going to say he spent $5.7 million on this home, to be conservative. Other celebrities that own homes at the Yellowstone Club include Bill Gates and Justin Timberlake. So what makes this private club worth so much money? To start, it has a stunning 28,000 square foot golf course with some of the most powdery slopes in the US. And true, Tom Brady fans know that he loves his golf when he isn't torturing NFL defenses. That's not all that the development has to offer. It also has access to biking trails, multiple ski slopes, a swimming pool, yoga classes, personal trainers, and complimentary meals. All the facilities are world-class and give these very wealthy people optimal privacy and exclusivity. So no, you can't go check it out for yourself. Next up is Tom Brady's luxury villa on the remote coast of the Nicoya Peninsula in the tropics of Costa Rica. The exact purchase price of this home also remains undisclosed, but based on similarly listed properties, we are speculating that Brady and his family spent approximately $6.5 million on this glamorous getaway spot. The villa offers seclusion, sunshine, and private beach access where Brady can hog all the world-class waves he wants if he so chooses. Hang 10, dude. We aren't sure if Brady is a surfer or not, but based on his California upbringing, we wouldn't be shocked at all. Tom Brady's current project is going to become his most expensive piece of real estate that he owns to date. You gotta hear about how crazy this place is going to be. When Brady left the Patriots and joined the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, he wanted to make sure he could comfortably settle into the sunny state of Florida. He told reporters, I was a native Californian for a long time in my life and went away from it for about 25 years. You won't catch me dead living in the Northeast anymore. I'm loving the warm weather and it's been a great feeling. Clearly, Brady isn't missing the cold winters in New England. He decided to go full out with his property in Miami. Brady went right to an area that has become known as Billionaire's Bunker on Indian Creek Island. Notable people that live in the Billionaire Bunker's neighborhood include Ivanka Trump and billionaire investor Carl Icahn. Tom Brady purchased a 5,172 square foot mansion with five bedrooms and five bathrooms on two acres of land for $17 million. 
Then he decided that the house wasn't up to his standards, so he demolished it so he could build a brand new one for an additional $10 million. Holy crap, what a boss. The plans for this new place are off the hook. Five bedrooms and 11 bathrooms. So Brady will be able to take his goat dumps in multiple locations. Must be nice. The structure will span over 17,000 square feet and will have features that you wouldn't believe. Everything from a yoga terrace, an organic garden, a meditation garden, a pickleball court, as well as an expansive his and hers bathroom suite, a main kitchen, a prep kitchen, and an outdoor kitchen are included in the architectural design. Some of the other features on the property will include a pool, a hot tub, an outdoor dining space, a giant lawn, water access, and is next door to a luxury golf course. The whole estate is organic and eco-friendly just the way Brady likes it. Hot damn it, Tommy B sure knows how to live it up. Altogether, we estimate that Tom Brady currently owns approximately $42.5 million in real estate. If you think that Brady spent all his money on houses, you are so wrong. We are just getting started. The guy lives like a king. When you are the greatest of all time, you know that you gotta make a grand entrance. Tom Brady has a collection of cars that ensures that he arrives in unprecedented style everywhere he goes. Let's start things off with the most modest car in Brady's collection coming in at, dare I say, only $165,000. The mid-engine, two-seat sports car uses Audi's trademark Quattro permanent all-wheel drive system. A car that would be beyond most people's wildest dreams is actually just the appetizer on this list. After making a deal with Aston Martin to sponsor their company in 2017, he was gifted a brand new Aston Martin DB11. The company needed an American sponsor that was even cooler than James Bond, so they really had no other choice but Tom Brady. If he were to have paid for this car himself, it would have cost him $212,000. Next up, as we move our way through Brady's car collection, his 2015 Ferrari M458T is not for the faint of heart. This chic little two-door supercar is packing some big-time heat. Capable of producing 562 horsepower, it has an engine that moves this Ferrari to speeds topping 210 miles per hour and can accelerate by you faster than you can say, oh my god. Tom Brady has this masterpiece named after him in 2018, a nice constellation prize after losing the Super Bowl to the Eagles that year. Brady didn't care though, he had multiple Super Bowl rings, three MVP awards, and a $275,000 limited edition Aston Martin that he could drive home to his supermodel wife in. Tom Brady has three kids, so you know he's gotta have a family car in his collection, but he ain't opting for a caravan. Brady's four-door Rolls-Royce features a 6.6-liter, 563-horsepower engine and all of the luxury trappings you could ever dream of. Imagine getting dropped off at school in that beauty. <laughs> wow! Finally, let's look at the most outrageously expensive vehicle in Brady's collection. This Bugatti is worth $3 million because it has a top speed of 268 miles per hour, thanks to the 1200 horsepower 8.0 liter W16 engine. Damn! Only 450 Veyrons were made in 10 years, and the NFL champ is joined by Tom Cruise, Jay-Z, and Simon Cowell as the cool kids who own this hot mama. We estimate that in total, Tom Brady's garage is filled with over $4.2 million in cars. That's just insane! Could you imagine hitting the highway in any of those suckers? But that's not all that the 45-year-old has spent his millions of dollars on. When Brady moved from New England to Tampa Bay, he decided that luxury cars weren't quite enough for him anymore. He needed to ride in style on the water, too. So in typical Tom Brady fashion, he bought himself a yacht. When Brady first moved to Florida, he decided to buy a luxury 53-foot yacht, which he named Viva La Vida. It cost him $2 million, and he first showed it off during the 2020 Super Bowl parade. During the parade, he tossed the Vince Lombardi trophy to teammate Rob Gronkowski, who was sitting in another boat. Could you imagine if he dropped it? Obviously, the pass went for a completion, as usual. And Brady once again proved himself as the coolest man to ever exist. Brady decided he loved his first yacht so much that he needed another one. The only difference is that his new yacht, the Vire 77, is bigger, more luxurious, and three times the price. 
As 77 indicated, this new yacht is a 77 foot super yacht that has all the most dazzling finishings. It is big enough to sleep 9 people and can accommodate up to 20 passengers at a time. Once construction is complete, his plan is to park the boat outside his mansion in Miami. So that adds up to $8 million in yachts. Whoa, now that is pretty cool. I wish he would invite us to one of his crazy yacht parties. So let's get this straight. He can ride on land and water in luxurious fashion, but can the man fly? He sure can. In 2008, Brady bought himself a private jet so he could zip from coast to coast any night of the week. The jet has a cost of $50 million and has a capacity of 19. It has space for two to four crew members. This jet can carve through the sky for up to 12 hours at a time without running out of fuel. It also has incredible speed. This puppy maxes out at approximately 600 miles per hour. The interior is filled with white leather details. There are cozy lounge chairs and stunning white leather couches. There is also plenty of counter space so Brady's personal chef can work his magic hundreds of miles into the sky. When you've got a private jet, you don't want to be late for takeoff, so Brady makes sure he's punctual by spending a ridiculous amount of money on luxury watches. Brady is a fashion icon who has been featured in magazines such as GQ. The football star doesn't just collect heavy chains and flashy bling, he collects some of the fanciest and most creatively engineered watches on the planet. He has so many watches that we can't tell you about all of them in this video. His entire collection is over $81,000 total. Jeez, that's way more than most people make in an entire year. Let's look at Tom Brady's five most expensive watches in his collection. Brady's chrome-plated IWC features a pure white back dial, hints of red color, and three different subdials. This statement piece ranks as Brady's fifth most expensive watch at $6,500. This watch is another from IWC with some unique and classy details. It's got a 24-hour time display, an alligator skin strap, and lists the time in 20 different cities around the circumference of the watch. The IWC Pilot World Timer comes in at $7,000. Brady owns one of the most unique Rolex watches on the market. The Milgauss features green sapphire crystal, contrasting an intense pure black dial, and a striking orange lightning bolt for the second hand. This watch is Brady's third most expensive in his collection and costs $7,200. What makes this next watch special is that if you turn the bezel, you can change time zones one at a time. So this watch is perfect for someone like Tom Brady, who is constantly traveling. It cost him $12,300 to wrap this piece of jewelry around his wrist. The Royal Oak Diver comes with a special sapphire crystal case and rubber-clad screw-locked crowns. It is Brady's most expensive watch, priced at $35,000. Pretty nifty, but at that price, I would hope it had a built-in time machine. Altogether, Brady's collection of wristwatches totals $81,000. I wonder if Brady had a watch that told him the right moment to make bold decisions. Cause he made a very bold move proposing to a Victoria's Secret lingerie model during the prime of his football career. And if you want to marry a world famous Victoria's Secret supermodel, then you've got to buy an engagement ring that will rock her world. That is exactly what Brady did when he proposed to Brazilian bombshell Giselle Bunchen. He dropped $145,000 on a 4 carat diamond ring in 2009 when he made a commitment to marry her and attempt to make the world's best looking babies. Tom Brady has it all, talent, looks, fame, money, and a smoking hot supermodel wife. You know what they say, gotta be good to be lucky. Well, actually he used to have a supermodel wife. In October 2022, he and Giselle announced that they will be getting a divorce. It is rumored that their relationship started going downhill when Brady refused to retire and decided to keep playing football in 2022. Bungeon was concerned about his health and wanted Brady to be more available to his family. And the decision to prioritize his career will cost Brady big time. Believe it or not, Giselle is actually worth more than Tom Brady. Together it is estimated that they own $733 million in assets. 400 million are going to belong to Giselle and 333 million belong to Brady. So all of his luxurious assets are going to get cut in half and his ex-wife will receive the bigger piece of the pie. He lost 400 million dollars in his divorce. This proves that no matter how much you spend on an engagement ring, you still aren't guaranteed a happy and long-lasting marriage. 
Maybe now that he's announced his retirement for good, he can reconcile his relationship. Either way, the divorce isn't the only major loss that Brady suffered in 2022. He also was one of the biggest losers when a cryptocurrency trading platform called FTX reported bankruptcy. Brady not only sponsored FTX, but also owned 1.1 million shares of the company, which at its peak was worth an estimated $93 million. After the scandal, the shares are only worth about 880,000. So Brady got screwed over monumentally in this deal. He lost over $92 million investing in FTX. 2022 has been a tough year for the future Hall of Famer to say the least. At the end of the day, I don't think we are going to see Tom Brady crying. He owns multiple businesses and is owner of numerous sponsorships that will keep the cash flow coming in steady for years to come. And we don't think the retired star is going to have any trouble in the lady department either. Though it might be tough to find a woman as beautiful as his ex-wife. Now you know how the football goat Tom Brady spends his millions of dollars. Thanks for watching. Consider subscribing to our channel for more NFL related content and please click on the other videos on your screen to see what else we've got for you.